Welcome to the smooth life. Grab a Tropica, sit back and enjoy. Tropica, nothing smoother. Previously on Tropica Island of Treasure All-Stars, our celebrities arrived in the lush St. Lucia wetlands for the first leg of the competition. Our eight celebs were met with a stampede of 18 smooth fans, all of whom are here for a share of the treasure. Because we're celebrating 10 seasons of Tropica Island of Treasure, we are upping the ante. And Unger announced the biggest treasure in the history of the show. A shared 1 million and 250,000 rand each from Suzuki for the winning team. Our smooth fans competed in a grueling challenge for a place in the competition. And the celebs followed up to determine the order in which they picked their partners. New long life charm advantages have been thrown into the mix, with Sashi winning a three point steal and Roxy winning the power to swap partners. Who will pick whom in the upcoming partner picking ceremony? As a new dawn rises over the shores of St. Lucia, there's tension in the air. How smooth the fans have proven their worth in the first challenge, but now their fate lies in the hands of the celebs that have to pick their partners for the competition. Welcome to Tropica Island of Treasure All-Stars. After the first challenge, I, I really feel positive, um, but I think I definitely got a target on my back now, so the rest is going to come for me, but I'm, I'm still going to keep positive. I'm feeling extremely excited that I have made it through to the top 10 contestants. I'm going to go to the bottom position. I'm going to go to the first challenge. And yeah, now it's out of my hand. Now we're going to see what's going on. Welcome, celebs and smooth fans. The time has come to make the most important decision of all. It's time to pick your partners. I've got the partner swap charm, which is great. That's exactly what I wanted. So I'm feeling pretty stoked. Brendan, you look like a man that knows what he wants. What's on your mind? I'm on my mind. I'm still a bit uncertain. Maurice, what do you think you'll be left with, buddy? Whoever's left over, brother, over. That's, that's me. Now, there's still an imbalance in numbers. We still have 10 smooth fans and only eight celebrity contestants. Because we're celebrating 10 years, we're also celebrating the smooth fans for all their contribution and everything they've done to make the show what it is. So, two smooth fans will partner up to form the ninth team. Whoa! Yes! Oh. Yes! 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 This is definitely throwing my plan off now. None of us saw that coming. Shreya, because you won your challenge, you will have the power to lead that team. Wow. Okay. Yes, you will pick from the remaining smooth fans. So please make your way to join the celebrities. Wow. Like what? I am leading a team. I'm blown away. Oh my way. Through the whole game around because obviously I knew Brendan was going for Shreya. I couldn't stop laughing because I was like, this is a game changer. Shreya and Brendan, you guys both won your respective challenges, but who will get to pick first? Let's play a little game to decide. Going head to head with Brendan, yeah, he might be a past winner, but it's, it's my turn. So here's how the game works. Each of you have a stick and a ball. You will balance the ball on the stick for 20 seconds. Once that 20 seconds is up and you still have the balls intact, you will then remove the balls, add a block on top, add the ball on top of that block for another 20 seconds. Each time you finish the 20 seconds, you'll keep adding the block till one of you drops the ball. That's how we determine our winner. And the winner will get to pick first. All smooth? Smooth. Balancing is not my strong suit. You have five seconds to balance the ball on the stick. Let's go. The challenge starts now. 
So I'm really focused. I made it, so now we need Come to go on. for two blocks. Two blocks, done. Look, it's getting more and more intense. I'm extremely focused. Each time you add a block, it gets more and more flimsy. It's difficult to say who's going to win this. Oh, oh. Yes, we are. Yeah. So the first choice of choosing a smooth fan is yours. Brendan, you will pick second. Wow. Let us know on socials using hashtag Tropica who you think will be partnered with who. I really hope she doesn't choose my second choice, which is Melo. So, a quick point recap. Brendan, you are on six points. Carlene and Jono, you're on five. Ney and Roxy, you're on four. Sashi, three. Kanya, two. And Maurice, one point. Shreya, you're also on six points. Then the next three, five. The three after that, four. Then three, two, one. Remember, guys, once you've joined forces and the duos are formed, you will then combine these points. So I'm very stressed at this moment. All I want to do is be picked. I've got my eyes on someone, and I've got the partner swap charm, so I've definitely got the upper hand on this one. Shreya, you get the first choice. Who will you be picking from the remaining smooth fans? Liardis. <laughs> Liardis gone. First pick. So that's one off my list. So I know, okay, not meant to be. I love my partner. I think she's great. Highly intelligent. She won the first competition as well. So I'm blessed with her. Well, you came second, <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm blessed with the strongest competitor amongst us. I'll be picking Melo. So I chose Melo because I think we'll be compatible from the start. I'm shocked Brendan chose me. So I manifested a male who's stronger <laughs> so that I could balance out. So I'm happy. I'm standing here. I don't know who I'm going to pick. Who really wants to come with me? Oh. I just want someone that I can really work with. So who will you be picking? Alyssa. Alyssa! Yeah! Uh, who twerks the best? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Everybody twerk! Everybody twerk! Everybody twerk! I'll, I'm going to be picking Lilani. Lilani! Yeah! Alyssa was my first choice, but then when I saw you next to Alyssa, I'm like, OK, wait a second. No, wait a second. You realize, that's my number one. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's the, the right one. That's the one who can take me all the way, yeah. But I chose this person because, having watched them in their challenge, I think they did fairly well to be here today. So I will be picking Janice. Yes! I'm happy. I was super happy that he picked me. He was my first choice. I'm picking my person because he's strong and he's mentally sharp. Ruan. Ruan! So Roxy picks Ruan, but she knows that's who I want and she's going to use her long life charm anyway to swap out with Caroline. You shouldn't have taken Ruan, babe, because you've messed up my game. Because you are going to swap out yourself with that chick, so you're going to have to swap Ruan with Ka That was the wrong... Oh, you you, miss, you messed up my game. So my plan is shot to hell. It seems like I've upset Sashi, which is not great for me. I'm picking this person because I think they've got speed. I think they did well in the challenge yesterday. I'm picking Tame. Yo, I'm very surprised. I, I mean, I manifested it. I'm happy she chose me. I'm like, this is the person I wanted to be with doing my challenges. Kanya, so who will you be picking? I will be picking Dane. I feel ecstatic that Kanye picked me. She was my partner who I wanted to get from the get-go, so we got to kill it together. Maurice is exactly what I wanted. Me being lost, him being lost, stunning. It's got to be a smooth move. It's yours. <laughs> it's not over yet. There is still the partner swap advantage that has to come to play. Roxy, you are the owner of that long life charm. So it's time for the partner swap. I've got my eyes set on someone. I'll be swapping Alyssa for Ruan. Alyssa's strong, <laughs> she's mentally sharp, and we connect. Roxy plays as partner swap for me. At this point, I'm like, yes, <laughs> this is what I wanted. She was who I was eyeing from the start. 
you. I'm a bit stressed standing here, thinking, I don't know this person standing next to me. I don't know his ability, he doesn't know my ability. So we'll have to suss it out, but at least he's a very, very nice guy. And so the teams have been formed. Look at the person next to you, because together you will fight to win that shared one million and 250,000 Rand to spend at Suzuki. Yeah. Your journey to the Seychelles has just begun. You are one step closer to earning your flavor. As the duos prepare for their first challenge, keep your eyes open for three Golden Tropica bottles hidden throughout the show. Let us know where you spot them on social media using hashtag Tropica and stand a chance to win smooth prizes. You too can win big with Tropica. Buy a Tropica promo pack, follow the details, enter and stand a chance to win your share of thousands of smooth prizes, such as airtime, data, AEG fridges, Island Tribe hampers, rest assured beds, Barcelos vouchers, plus limited edition Tropica bags, towels, tents, cooler bags, and cushions from Mr. Price Home. The more Tropica you buy, the more chances you stand to win. Tropica, nothing smoother. This is your first challenge as a duo. You will be playing for points, which you will add to your tally. And trust me, you need those points because the bottom four teams will be taking part in our first ever elimination. Oh. I'm surprised that four teams are going into elimination and it's making me overthink. Are two teams going home? Is one team going home, yeah. you know? So let's have a quick recap on the points. Team Sria, you're on 11. Team Brendan, 10. Team Jono, 10. Team Roxy, you're on nine. Team Ney, you're on eight. Team Carlin, you're on seven. Team Sashi, six. Team Kanya, six. And Team Maurice, two points. But there is still another lifeline that comes into play. At the end of this challenge, you will be heading to your first ever long life ceremony, where each team will be given a bonus point to gift to another team. Here at Tropica Island of Treasure, it's not just about winning challenges, but to smooth talk your way to that treasure. Wow, we have to give the point tonight, which becomes tricky because now it becomes a bit of a negotiation. Right, on to the game. Each team will stand in their respective starting blocks. On my whistle, the teams will run as fast as they can to the first stations. At the first station will be 10 hacky sacks buried into the sand. Together, you will dig out those hacky sacks and place them in the bag provided. You will then move to the second station where four wooden poles will be tied up. You will untie those knots, then carry those four poles along with your hacky sacks to the next station. At the next station, you will have to dig again, this time for six wooden platforms. Four of these wooden platforms fit perfectly onto the wooden poles. Once that is done, you will put it all together, then carry the four wooden poles and put them into the slotted box. Taking turns, you will each throw the hacky sacks onto the platform. Once a hacky sack has landed on each of the four poles, the challenge is complete. Oh my goodness. This is looking heavy. Those beams look ginormous. The winning team will receive seven points. The two teams after that will receive six points. Two teams after that, five points. The two teams after that, four points. Then three. And finally, last place will only get one point. All smooth? Smooth. smooth. Let's play. Yes. Yeah. I'm worried about a lot of things in the challenge. You never know what's going to happen. The beanbag thing is, is stressing me out. The wind's starting to pick up, so it's going to be interesting. Yes. Contestants, are you ready? Yeah. On my whistle! We 
run as quick as we can. We are digging, 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 digging. These hacky sacks are popping up. Frantic digging going on here. Dana moving so, so, so quickly. We are digging these holes and we're just not finding at these all. hacky at sacks. All, at all. Team Carlene is off. Team Ney is second. Team Jono, Team Maurice. There are now four teams that have moved on to the second stage. Everyone is like finding the hacky sacks and I'm digging, I'm, I'm finding water. Most of the teams have gotten to the second station. I will act with all the polar sometum kaka updraw. Sack for me, any, 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 I'm standing with all four and this one can't and this one can't get up. And I was like, oh no! He's checking where, where, where. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! We managed to find a lot, but when I stopped counting them, we can't find oh, one. one. <laughs> yeah, I found it. Come. I think you dug it up. And Team Kanya go. have all ten of their bags. Now I'm tying the knot. Four of the teams have gotten their wooden poles up in the slotted boxes. Guys, all your poles will be level if they are correctly in. They have to be level. You can only throw once all poles are level. Team Jonathan has a hacky sack up. You can only throw from behind the blue line. Yes, Ney! Yes! Team Ney, three hacky sacks on the platform. you're killing it, bud. Team Carlene has one. Team Kanya still struggling to get the platforms onto the wooden poles. Team Maurice still struggling with the last pole and platform. Team Sashi with one sack. Team Brendan with one sack. No one said it was going to be easy. Team Brendan with two hacky sacks on the platforms. Oh! Yes! Yes! Can we almost say? Team Maurice, good, 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 Team Kanya, still no hacky sacks on platforms. Are you aiming? Yes! yes! Brendan is a tank. We have no idea how he's getting these bean bags onto but, these poles. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Team Sashi with their second hacky sack. <laughs> yeah! Yay! Four! Team Brendan! Yes, they're the first to complete it. Well done! <laughs> It feels amazing to be at the top. It, it does help to keep you like positive for the for the challenges going forward. Oh, oh my word! Team Carlene just knocked one off. This is the one thing I told him. I suck at. Very first thing I said, and now very first challenge. I've got to throw something on top of something. Yes! yes. Team Jono almost there. Team Shreya knocked their first one off. I'm gone. The wind is absolutely turbulent. We're throwing these hacky sacks and they're just flowing all over the place. Your aim in the next moment is two meters you, to the you left. You can't even aim at this point. Team Roxy has two on the same pole. There has to be at least one hacky sack on each platform. Yes! Team Kanya has one. Team Jono! What a relief, man. And I let out a, but second place. A, an almighty scream and, of course, the, the twerk on the pole. And they are twerking away in celebration. Let us know what you think of Team Jonathan's twerking using hashtag Tropica. Come on, man! So the wind is so strong right now, so we figured out that we have to aim a little bit to the right in order to make sure it actually hits onto that platform. Yes! <laughs> team Sashi, the third team to get the hacky sacks on the platform. Well done. I need a Tropica. <laughs> <laughs> no! Team Kanya back on track. Team Shreya knocking off their hacky sack. The wind knocked it off. Yes, one more. Team Shreya have one more sack to get up on the platform. Yes! <laughs> Team Shreya is done. Fourth hacky sack in fourth place. We're quite happy with that. Yes. I mean, it's our first challenge together as a team. Yes. It's, it's only going to get better from here. 
Team Sashi. <laughs> I heard you want some Tropicas. We did. Joy. I think we've earned this. <laughs> Cheers. Team Kanya knocking their hacky sack off. Trying to fit the hacky sacks and make them stay Stain. is something we're struggling with a bit. Ah! Team Carlene, the go. fifth team to get nice. their hacky sacks on and completing the challenge. Careful you don't knock that other one off. Team Kanya, oh, it fell off. It's off, it's off, it fell off, it fell off, it fell off. No, it fell off after. It fell off afterwards. No. Oh, come on, guys. It fell off, guys. You have to continue. It has to stay on. Let us know if you are enjoying this challenge by using hashtag Tropica. I am having the time of my life watching hacky sacks rain all over the beach. And they are finally have the fourth and they have completed the challenge. Holy dude, good job, guys. Yes. Finally, <laughs> Jay! Yeah, no, I did it, Jay. Nice. Oh, yes. Yes. And finally, oh. Team Kanya have completed the challenge. It's down to Team Roxy and Team Maurice. This is really getting frustrating now, and everyone else is screaming for everyone else, yeah. which is quite hard. Um, when you're hearing everyone cheer everyone else on and your name's not being called. Team Roxy and Team Maurice, the sun is a setting. So what we'll do is start a timer, and in five minutes, if you're not done, we will then count which team has the most hacky sacks up. And your time starts now. Any strategy, guys? Underarm, underarm. Oh, but like, very slowly, very like... Is it? Very like meh. Close. Come on, you can do it. Team Maurice, Team Roxy, you have four minutes to get as much hacky sacks on as you can. Yes. Yes. Come on, come on. Team Maurice with one hacky sack on and three minutes remaining. Go to your right, go soccer. Yes. <laughs> team Maurice have caught up to Team Roxy. Team Roxy with a third bag up. One minute remaining. Team Maurice have two hacky sacks up. Team Roxy have three. The pressure is on. Ah! Don't knock one off. Stand in the and corner. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And Team Roxy end the challenge with three bags. That is three points for you. Team Maurice with two bags. And that is one point for you. That was frustrating, eh? We're not where we want to be, but we're just grateful for, for not coming last because then we still have three, not one point. Guys, the next time I see you would be at the long life ceremony where each team will be given a bonus point to gift to another team. But for now, I'm sure you've got a lot to strategize on. So grab a Tropica and relax, but not too much. This whole points thing stresses me out. Me too. Yeah, my brain isn't wired for this kind of thing. So for the first time, I'm hearing about a long live ceremony. These things didn't exist in season two when I competed. And also that we get a point that we have to give to another team. Yeah. Do you think people are going to give Maurice because they're at the bottom? Because uh, obviously that's know. sabotage. Because that's sabotage if you are gifting someone who needs no point. I, I doubt that they would do that. Or do you think people are going to have alliances? And... Is we don't have any alliances. Yeah, I don't have any. We just... It's getting technical because everyone's starting to conspire against each other and for each other and mm. you need to give me a point and... Alliances... Currently we don't have any at the moment. We're actually discussing to see who we're going to form alliances with. The game ends and already people are like... Alliance is forming. Immediately. Sashi's got all the power with the three points to take away. Her and Roxy's strong alliance. It's pretty much everyone else then is in danger. Who are you going to give your point to? So I decided we're going to give ours to Roxy. And purely because I promised her the point. So she's giving us one. Like, I think it makes sense to give a point and get a point. So maybe you should go and speak to some teams and like try and... No, no, I don't believe Who would like, you ask? I don't believe in asking. I feel like... Yes, you must ask for what you want. 
So we have three now. Jonathan, four. If I, Caroline, five. There's Actually, so many people swarming towards you and asking, can I have a point? point? Can I have this point? Can I have this point? And we... We, we don't actually really know soft yet. people as yeah. well, so it's hard for us to even say no. We'll do the mats, yeah, yeah. and then we'll see. At this moment, I'm just relieved just to kind of catch my breath, have a Tropica, um, and just gather myself. I'm not quite ready to jump into scheming mode or mm -hmm. anything or strategy mode. Brendan was in the middle of Toronto and yeah. Claw long, long go. I was long go, Claw. You don't want to be in the final four, so whether you've got a beg or please get that point, we you don't want to be in the final four anyway. Are you sure? But if everybody Are you sure? Is yeah. on your side, you get a point from everyone. Because we were on six, yeah, and now we're getting two or three points. I do feel very comfortable because we have the three points still, and we can not only get an additional three points for ourselves but we can steal it and change anybody's position in the game. I, I've got an alliance with Maurice already. That's yeah, what we were, I was saying to him, now let's form an alliance with That's Maurice. That's a solid one. So he, he's, he's, he's getting our point. Yeah. I think we should all try and get, get him, him out. Yeah. So at this point, it seems like everybody is just kind of getting an alliance against Roxy and Sashi yes. because Sashi's got this crazy power now to take three points away. So blood dark, nah, blood dark. I'm, just, I'm just trying to understand this whole thing. Points, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the point yeah. is like, wild. We've basically decided that we're going to form an alliance with you guys. Yeah. Definitely. And what the aim is to get the, bottom, the top the bottom. Yeah. So we want to get you up. Um, yeah. Okay. Right, so because because Roxy's in a danger zone now, I think. So everyone is forming an alliance. Um, so eventually we decide, let's go ask a few people and lo and behold, no one feels like our point is worthy. Welcome to your very first long life ceremony. Our strategy for this long life ceremony is basically not to be in the bottom four. We have a, a strategy going into the ceremony a very specific one of um, an alliance that we formed to each give each other two points. Everybody knows exactly who they're voting for. Well, this has been discussed and agreed upon in detail. Before we get started, let's have a look at the leaderboard. In top position, we have Team Brendan with 17 points, followed by Team Jonathan with 16 points. Team Shreya also with 16 points. Team Roxy, Ney, Carlene and Sashi, all with 12 points. Team Kanya with 10 points and Team Maurice with 3 points. Yeah, it's quite disappointing yeah, um, quite this to see the number. It's not a number that I'm personally happy with at all. At the end of this ceremony, the bottom four teams will head into tomorrow's elimination challenge. But that could all change. So, this is how it's going to work. In the middle of the bench, there is a box. Inside the box, there are nine blocks corresponding with each team. On my call, you will select the block with the team you would like to gift the point to. Once you have selected that team, you will then take the block out, put it in front of the box, face down. All smooth? Smooth. And now, you will all choose the teams you're gifting your point to. We've got a mark on our back, and I know today everyone's teaming up to get us into elimination. So there's been a lot of manipulation going on today, which isn't great. All right, we will start with Team Sashi. Who will you be gifting a point to? Team Roxy. Team Roxy? Who will you be gifting your point to? Um, team Sashi. <laughs> <laughs> We'd known from the minute we had a point that we were going to give it to Roxy and she would give it to us. We kind of have a vibe like that. So we're going with Team Colleen. We decided to go with Team Nay. We decided to give our one point to Team Colleen. So we are giving our point to Team Jonathan. Team Kanya? Oh. <laughs> I mean, if we have to give it to someone. Team Roxy. I decided to give our point to Team Nay. We decided to give our point to John. And we didn't see that one coming. They wanted to give us the point so we can move up a little bit yeah. to see where we're going to be. So we were going to help each other there. That will take you right to the top of the leaderboard. Jonathan has managed to convince everyone to give him points. I don't know how. I mean, he was the game master in season eight, but he clearly still is. He's pulling all those strings. <laughs> but it's not over yet. 
there is still the matter of the long life charm belonging to Sashi, where she will have the power to steal three points from one team and gift them to another. Sashi, have you made your decision? I have. The reason why I chose this team is they were originally one of our favorite teams. We really liked them. We wanted to work with them strategically. So we went and said, look, you've got a free point to give away. Give us the point and we will trade you that you'd be able to choose whoever you want to go. And they said yes. And then we were speaking to Kanye and she was like, oh, I just got a point from this team. And then we're speaking to Roxy. And she's like, oh, we just got a point from this team. I'm like, They've given three people their point. This is getting hectic, really. It's getting hectic. <laughs> so I'm like, no, 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 no shadiness. So unfortunately, the shadiness got them, which is Team Shreya. Wow. And which team will you be gifting those three points to? Me, because I want to go to the Seychelles. Oh, <laughs> wow. So that means Team Shreya goes to 13 and Team Sashi goes to 16. S to be honest, I'm shocked. I didn't expect this at all. We expected. Ah, uh, I'm expecting it. Ah, oh, I knew from. I knew that. Oh, no, why would you take from our position? Because she doesn't like us. But four teams have to go into elimination, and we have a tie. Team Roxy, Team Ney, Team Carlin, all on 14 points. And the decision is going to be made right now. Kanye said she'd give us a point and I made a pledge to her that I'll give her a point in the future. But that did not happen. You cannot trust anyone. This is your tiebreaker. Each team will be given an image. On this image are triangles that each team will have three minutes to count. After three minutes, I will ask you to write down the number of triangles you think are on the image. The two teams that are the closest to the actual number will be safe. All smooth? Smooth. Yeah, no, I'm totally not prepared for counting triangles. <laughs> like, definitely not. I'm very convinced that, yeah. that we've got this. We're both physical, but I, I know on the mental side we're quite strong. And your time starts now. Okay. This triangle puzzle it's confusing. There's a lot of triangles. At the same time, we're counting. At the same time, we want to make sure we're covering every block. Two. Yes, cool. One minute remaining. Wow. This is tense. <sighs> Team Roxy is done. 30 seconds. We did it that way, that way, that way. 15 seconds. You better start writing it down. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Have you all written it down? And reveal in three, two, one. Team Roxy counted 40 triangles. Team Carlene counted 40 triangles. Team Ney counted 28. The correct number of triangles is 44. Which means going into our first elimination challenge is Team Ney, Team Shreya, Team Maurice, and Team Kanya. The others in the elimination better watch out because even though we are at the bottom, we're fighters. That's correct. We don't give up. We don't give up. So there were a lot of surprises at last night's ceremony, not to mention Jonathan's rise to glory, <laughs> and also obviously my point steal. So the mood on the boat is not actually as relaxed as you would think. But I guess when you think about it, someone did have to go to the elimination today, and it wasn't going to be me. So I'm just going to relax on the boat and drink my Tropica. <laughs> The 
feels good to be safe. We're all exhausted from the challenges and stuff, so it's nice to just kick our feet up for a little bit and take in the natural beauty and, and prepare for the next day. I'm extremely relieved. After that, after having to throw those beanbags are not happening, I'm, I'm relieved that um, the first ceremony went my way. So yeah, I'm feeling good. Yeah, I'm also I'm very happy and relieved as well. Um, but yeah, it's not over yet. So what do you think uh, the challenge is today for the elimination? I don't know. I heard they're going to the beach, so maybe it's a beach challenge. I think it's going to be a tough one. Though. If Liardis and Tria goes home, that benefit us all. Yeah. That would benefit us all. I won't be sad if that happens. Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm hoping Kanya and Nay stays, bro, just because I enjoy them as, yeah. as people and spending time with them. It's good to be safe for now, at least. So cheers, okay. cheers to that. Yeah, we'll be never safe. Off. We'll have to see. <laughs> we'll have to see. This is the first elimination challenge for Tropica Island of Treasure All-Stars. At the end of this challenge, one team will be going home. No points, no advantages, last place leaves the game. Mm. The fact that it's an elimination game is quite stressful. And yes, trying to remain positive, trying it's also to a little bit sad. Not the greatest feeling in the world, but hey, we're here to shine, we're here to prove that we can still continue and do our best. Hello Smooth fans and celebs, I hope you had a good night's rest because you're going to need all the mental power you can muster. You might be wondering what this beautiful pineapple next to me is. Well, this is where the team that is eliminated will be hanging up their buffs. I would call that pineapple pineval. Everything evil comes <laughs> from that pineapple. That's the pain apple. Yeah, the pain apple. That's the pain. Apple. Ooh, I don't want to go near that pain apple. You don't want to be by the pain apple because it will give you a lot of pain. Colorful beadwork like what I'm wearing is a strong tradition in the Zulu culture. Different designs and colors are often used to describe different things like relationship status. Today, you'll be weaving some beadwork of your own. I like the sound of it. Zulu beads, being um Zulu. <laughs> in Natal, you know where my roots are. I'm like, okay. The duos will be split into two with a runner and a weaver. The runner will race to the first station where they will find a wooden frame with six rows of beads in a unique pattern. Once you figure out this pattern, you will race to the bead shop where you will find a number of woven baskets containing beads with various colors. Using the traditional utkogo provided, you will collect as many beads as you think you will need to recreate the unique pattern. Transport as many beads as you can to the empty frames at the end of the course. There, you must thread your beads to replicate the example pattern. During the challenge, you can run back to the shop or to the start as many times as you can. The last team to successfully recreate the pattern will be going home. All smooth? Smooth. I will give you a moment to decide who is going to run and who's going to weave. I am weaving the blocks because my partner is the physically strong one. I'm going to run and she's going to weave. My energy is feeling very low. I won't be doing the running. It has taken us a while to get to who needs to run and who needs to weave. Yeah. She said to me, I need to trust her to do mm. this. So we decided that she's doing the running and I'm doing the weaving. Runners, are you ready? Remember this is to avoid elimination. On my whistle. The most difficult part of the challenge is definitely remembering. Hmm. It's the memory game. Dane is the first he thinks he has it memorized. Knowing that we're running on sand, which is way different from running on mm, grass. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. And after a while, they wear out. Hey,
My strategy is I'm gonna go row by row, putting all the beads in the correct order and just taking it to her. So all she needs to do is just put it where it needs to be. Huh? You need to this and this and you blow there. I think the most difficult part of this challenge would be the memorizing of the actual pattern versus the running, because the running is easy enough, but when you have to put the two together, that's when it becomes a challenge. The runners are doing some serious work here. Seems like most of the teams already have their first row done. Team Kanya's runner just made their second trip back. <laughs> this one needs to go to the very top. Team Ney making their way back for the second time. You're doing a beautiful job, Boo Boo. That's blue, blue. Then this is yellow, yellow. Team Shreya making their way back for the third time. Must be a difficult job being a runner. My calves are absolutely burning, <laughs> but my lower back more than anything <laughs> else because you had to carry and run. Now blue and vacuum. But this is to avoid elimination. <laughs> See the runners getting as many beads as they can so that the weavers are only left with the option of figuring out the unique pattern. Dane from Team Kanya really starting to feel it now. I can see he's slowing down a whole lot. Okay, Wayne, yeah? Running low hill. Team Nay's runner really, really, really starting to feel it. They've slowed down completely and they're now walking. I know I'm not the fastest runner. I can maintain, I have that stamina, mm. but damn! It is getting tough. Okay. So you tell me. Top, bottom. Okay. Team Maurice's runner also going really, really, really strong. And the two here. And for whom? And for whom? Put it, put it in the back. Yellow, blue, orange. That's the two I'm going to go. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. That's here. That's the two. Take it off, take it off. Please come check. Take that off. Team Ney think they might have it. Yeah. Team Ney have completed yeah. the challenge and avoid elimination. Yeah. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are the winners. Shout out to you. Oh. <sighs> Second last one. It's the blue and orange, hey? Yeah. Okay, Anga. Anga. Team Shriya think they have it. Team Shriya, the second team to complete the challenge and avoid elimination. Wow, we are no, so, so it happy. Was, it was a proud moment for our team. Team Maurice and Team Kanya head to head. Let us know using hashtag Tropica which team will be eliminated today. <laughs> so it's double yellow. Okay. My memory is letting me down today. Are oh, you sure it's not red? I saw some of them did orange. Maurice, come on! Blue, double yellow. Anga, anga, anga! Oh, hold up, hold up! Team Maurice think they are down. Call out this one for me, they fell. Call it! Call it! Is it blue? Come on. Come on. Blue? Oh, it's blue, yellow, yellow, blue. Green. Blue. Yellow. Green. 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 Yes, you said blue, orange. Team Maurice and Team Kanya are neck and neck. Call it, call it, call it, call it! Call it! Anga, can you check? Call it, call it, we first. We are literally a split second apart. Yes! Yes! <laughs> team Maurice are the third team to figure out their unique pattern and avoid elimination. And that means Team Kanya will be eliminated. Well done, you know. Yes, baby! Yes! You did good. It's all good. Yeah. It's unbelievable, but that is how the cookie crumbles. Kanya, Dane? Today was a tough challenge, but you guys gave it your best. Did you at least have fun? We did, thanks. I'm super proud of Dane. Um, he gave it his all. We did our very best, so we walk away feeling proud of ourselves. Dane? Hey, I pushed as hard as I could. We missed it by one. We tried. Nothing more we can say. You really did. Guys, unfortunately, this is the end of the road for you. Please hang up your buffs. Your time on Tropica Island of Treasure All Stars has come to an end. Okay. Bye, guys. We love Bye. you. Hold <laughs> well on. <laughs> oh, we love you. Wow.
very emotional first elimination. To the rest of you, you live to fight another day. I'll see you at the next challenge. Dane, I feel like he deserves to stay longer. <laughs> I know the feeling. Um, so it's, it's, we feel for them. We had a blast. Yeah. We extreme. really enjoyed ourselves. Oh. To all the contestants, give it your all. This is a beautiful opportunity. Enjoy the Seychelles. I'm super jealous. Wishing you all the best. Whoever wins, I'm coming to grab your Suzuki. <laughs> <laughs> An emotional end to a short but very exciting journey for Kanya and Dane. But the adventure on Tropica Island of Treasure All Stars is just beginning. If you want in on the Tropica action too, follow us on our social media platforms at MyTropica and find our weekly at-home challenges for you to try out. Until next week, stay smooth, South Africa. Join us again as our all-stars compete for the show's biggest prize to date. And Play.Coza will be rewarding the runners up with a mega mystery prize. Tune in to find out. Ten seasons of celebrating the smooth life. Tropica, nothing smoother. Another feel-good production.